A large crack, stretching several kilometers, made a sodding appearance recently in southwestern Kenya. The tear, which continues to grow, caused part of the Nairobi Narok Highway to collapse. The appearance of the crack was linked to tectonic activity along the East African Rift. Questions remain as to why it has formed in the location that it did and whether its appearance is at all connected to the ongoing East African Rift. For example, the crack could be the result of the erosion of soft soils in filling an old rift-related fault. The Earth is an ever-changing planet, even though in some respect change might be almost unnoticeable to us. Plate tectonic is a good example of this. But every now and again, something dramatic happens and leads to renewed questions about the African continent splitting in two. The Earth's lithosphere, formed by the cross and the upper part of the mantle, is broken up into a number of tectonic plates. These plates are not static, but move relative to each other at varying speeds, gliding over a viscous asthenosphere. Exactly what mechanism or mechanisms are behind their movement is still debated, but are likely to include convection currents within the asthenosphere and the forces generated at the boundaries between plates. These forces do not simply move the plates around. They can also cause plates to rupture, forming a rift and potentially leading to the creation of new plate boundaries. The East African Rift System is an example of where this is currently happening. The East African Rift Valley stretches over 3,000 kilometers from the Gulf of Aden in the north towards Zimbabwe in the south, splitting the African Plate into two unequal parts, the Somali and Nubian Plate. Activity along the eastern branch of the Rift Valley, running along Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania became evident when the large crack suddenly appeared in southwestern Kenya. Why does rifting happen? When the lithosphere is subject to a horizontal extensional force, it will stretch, becoming thinner. Eventually, it will rupture, leading to the formation of a rift valley. This process is accompanied by surface manifestations along the rift valley in the form of volcanism and seismic activity. Rifts are the initial stage of a continental breakup and if successful can lead to the formation of a new ocean basin. An example of a place on earth where this has happened is the South Atlantic Ocean which resulted from the breakup of South America and Africa around 138 million years ago. Ever noticed how their coastlines match like pieces of the same puzzle? Continental rifting requires the existence of extensional forces great enough to break the lithosphere. The East African rift is described as an active type of rift in which the source of these stresses lies in the circulation of the underlying mantle. Beneath this rift, the rise of a large mantle plume is dooming the lithosphere upwards, causing it to weaken as a result of the increase in temperature, undergo stretching and breaking by faulting. Evidence for the existence of this hotter than normal mantle plume has been found in geophysical data and is often referred to as the African super swell. This super plume is not only a widely accepted source of the pull apart forces that have resulted in the formation of the rift valley, but has also been used to explain the anomalously high topography of the southern and eastern African plateaus. Breaking up isn't easy. Rift exhibits a very distinctive topography characterized by a series of fault-bounded depressions surrounded by high terrain. In the East African system, a series of aligned rift valleys separated from each other by large bounding faults can be clearly seen from space. Not all of these fractures form at the same time, but followed a sequence starting from the Alpha region in northern Ethiopia at around 30 million years ago, 
and propagating southwards towards Zimbabwe at a mean rate of between 2.5 to 5 cm a year. Although most of the time rifting is unnoticeable to us, the formation of new faults, fissures and cracks or renewed movement along old faults as the Nubian and Somali plates continue moving apart can result in earthquakes. However, in East Africa, most of the seismicity is spread over a wide zone across the Rift Valley and is of relatively small magnitude. Volcanism running alongside is a further surface manifestation of the ongoing process of continental breakup and the proximity of the hot modern asthenosphere to the surface. A timeline in action. The East African Rift is unique in that it allows us to observe different stages of rifting along its length. To the south, where the rift is young, extension rates are low and faulting occurs over a wide area. Volcanism and seismicity are limited. Towards the Alpha region, however, the entire rift valley floor is covered with volcanic rocks. This suggests that in this area, the lithosphere has thinned almost to the point of complete breakup. When this happens, a new ocean will begin forming by the solidification of magma and the space created by the broken up plate. Eventually, over a period of tens of millions of years, seafloor spreading will progress along the entire length of the rift. The ocean will flood in and as a result, the African continent will become smaller and there will be a large island in the Indian Ocean composed of part of Ethiopia and Somali, including the Horn of Africa. Dramatic events such as sudden motorway splitting faults can give continental rifting a sense of urgency. However, rifting is a very slow process that most of the time goes about splitting Africa without anybody ever noticing. Africa Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent, after Asia in both aspects. At about 30.3 million square kilometers, 11.7 million square miles, including adjacent islands, it covers 20% of Earth's land area and 6% of its total surface area. With 1.4 billion people as of 2021, it accounts for about 18% of the world's human population. The continent is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Isthmus of Zeus and the Red Sea to the northeast, the Indian Ocean to the southeast and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. The continent includes Madagascar and various archipelagos. It contains 54 fully recognized sovereign states, 8 cities and islands that are part of known African states and 2 de facto independent states with limited or no recognition. This count does not include Malta and Sicily, which are geologically part of the African continent. This is the end of our program today. See you on InterVlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching InterVlog. Thank you.